Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to our crystal opening commentary of Much Patience. This time, brought to you by Jan the Man, or Jan's the Man. And uh, as usual, via Dropbox, it looks like it's a bit blurry, and then it is all of a sudden sharpened. So he has a lot at stake in this mega crystal opening as well. And I hope that he is able to get at least a couple of champions, whether it be a five-star or a six-star, that he needs in his roster. So, uh, as always, I have not watched this before. I don't know what is coming, but I do know that it's starting with interesting daily calves. Did not see that coming. Uh, hey, five-star for a man whose jacket remains yellow there you go there it is that is pretty exciting for five bucks two three stars and a five star that's good data I mean the 66 star six stones awesome oh we got two here Okay, our first four star, another three star, so mostly three stars. This is holding up pretty close to standard drop rates. These things are technically the worst, and you should expect two three stars out of two crystals. That is indeed what happened there. And he's got a ton of six stones. Oh, Cosmic, okay, also got two of those. Can we get a second five star? And we cannot, but we can get two four stars, which is pretty dang awesome. All right, brother. Six stones, and I'm sure he's got some nexus down here, probably, huh? Look at those orb things coming out of the screen. Oh, two more calves. Wow, how many crystals does this guy have? And there's our second five star, upgraded to cable or downgraded, depending on how your cable connection is. Sometimes my cable connection can kind of be like my internet connection. Unreliable in Oklahoma. All right, so now he has four five-star Nexus. Golly, two legendary crystals. Jan, you've been saving, bro. A five-star Nexus Awakening Gym crystal? I forgot that was even a thing. Warlock, hey -o. That is awesome. But it's also a max sig ability crystal, apparently, so that's not what you needed. All right, um, featured five star, sure. This is such a huge random crystal opening. I don't even know what I'm going to call this thing. Sometimes it uh, it just titles itself, though, you know. So uh, sometimes if you if you like to play along at home, just consider that you're me. I know it's a scary thought, and think what would I call this if I commentated this video? Is it going to go full featured? Or is it going to go basic? Well, we know we've, we've got one featured. And he got a Heimdall, my MVP of my Abyss completion run. Incredible synergy once you build up that Aegon combo meter. And now we've got how many featureds? He selected one. And he got Star-Lord. Another 26 on him. Okay, cool. I'm fascinated by the fact that Old Balls is his profile pick, too. I don't know if that's his favorite champ. If he lost a bet. <laughs> I have no idea. Another Star-Lord. Well, this is just getting weird, bro. It's just getting real weird. But who knows? Who the heck knows? Maybe, maybe he loves Star-Lord. Maybe those are great pulls for him. Used to be the OG. All right, so now he's going back to 10, maybe? It's always nice when you can select, yeah. And is he going to pop them all? Look at you, Jan. You are the man. He saved up, I think, several months for this crystal opening. So that is proof. Two guillotine 29.9s. A quake. Another Star-Lord. This crystal opening is truly sponsored by Star-Lord. When you get three dupes of Star-Lord, maybe that should be the title of this video. We'll see. No new champs, but he got Blade as well. A warrior that remains more civil than we would prefer. And another 26 of Nebula. 
All right, well, so far the leading title of this video is Star-Lord is sponsoring this crystal opening. And if you have no idea what that means, if that's the title, you'll figure it out when you see three dupes. But now we have seven six-star basics, but before the six stars, we're probably going to go to the five-star Nexus, right? Maybe. He's thinking about it. Oh, you got this max six crystal. Yeah, I guess you got to kind of need all the six-star shards you can get at this point. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Where are you going? We're with you. He's scrolling down. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's in for a 5-star Nexus Awakening Gym touchdown. Just kidding. Let's do the 4 5-star Nexus crystals. If you if you click open 4 crystals, does, is it just one after the other? Okay, sure. We're about to find out. Void is max sig. Might as well get the double 6-star shards out of it, right? I'd go far right. Wouldn't you? Maybe? Maybe not? Don't avoid that max sig ability crystal, bro. If you're looking to build those six star shards, go for it. It's like he heard me. All right, got to awaken Angela. Platinum star is a platinum star. That's what I vote number two. There, there you go. Two for two. Another, uh, okay, he's, you're going to awaken Vegan Thor? I'd say screw it. Let's get some more six star shards. Go with Captain America Infinity War. But, you know, I get it. And man thing, yeah, I got to go with the new champ. That one was easy. Okay, interesting batch of four five-star Nexus crystals. This thing is just jam-packed. Jam-packed. It's like the ultimate. Growing up, when I was going to church, we'd always have this potluck. It'd be like the most random collection of dishes. But somebody would bring the KFC bucket or the brisket and life was saved or that amazing peanut butter chocolate pie. It's like This is like the potluck of crystal openings, but most of what he's opening is really a good dish. Some people aren't going to appreciate that analogy, but I hope at least one person out there does. You know, why not? All right. Uh, first six-star crystal guillotine 2099. Nice. Just doing the individuals? Are you going for featureds? Bro. Yeah, I, I would not recommend it. Not based of, off of what you need. Okay, so he's popping another one. Oh, that's going to be a good pull next. Magneto and Guillotine 2099. Two amazing pulls to start off. And I say that because I trust Mr. Dork Lessons and his hype of Mr. Magneto. Fishbowl once again. He has not had a bad pull this entire time. You got plenty of people out there saying, where's his Kingpin? Where's his Groot? Where's his King Groot? Where's his University of Phoenix? There, there she is. And just like University of Phoenix, sometimes you're asking yourself, is it even worth it online? I don't know. All right, next six-star, Deadpool X-Force. Dually Ray and I's shared connection. All right, the tide has turned in luck, as it normally does, does in the six-star basic crystal. And Morningstar, another solid pull. And then he's got one more, and then he'll have almost enough for another six-star in the future. And he's ending it with a dupe of his Prox Midnight, and that is a double dupe. So that doesn't do you much good, bud. No seven-star shards. <laughs> oh, now he came back somehow, edited it together maybe, to form that last six-star. You see that little uh, transition, little dissolve? Let's see what makes it worth it. It started out so good, right? Guillotine 2099. And it's interesting when it peaks at the first crystal, but it is what it is. Here we go, and Colossus is a great champ, new champ as well. Man, you got a ton of new champs. So the question is, do you have any six-star Nexus, or are you ending on the six-star basic? Some people didn't buy the six-star Nexus from the July 3rd slash July 4th weekend sales. So I don't know. Okay, now he's got, not only does he have some, he's got four. Wow. Okay, let's see if uh, the title can be changed from Star-Lord sponsoring this. Well, we got Stealth Spidey and Michael Keaton next to one another. Talk about a shared universe. Domino Awakened? Heck yeah! That's what I was really hoping I could have seen from my opening, but, you know, I still got so much amazing luck. No, 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 no! Bro, no! No! Why? What? Are you even going to use OG Spidey? What? Okay, that's great. Doctor Doom, awesome. 
But can we just go? Can we stop for a second? What? I've never seen that. I mean, maybe OG Spider Man's your favorite champion. Maybe there's a killer synergy you're going to use. But, bro, that should be a dupe of Domino. Fades to black, just like my confusion. You knock me out, bro. Wow. Star Lord, move over. I have never been so shocked by a six star Nexus choice in my life. Somehow that's going to be the title of this video. Maybe condensed. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for thinking he should have duped Domino over OG Spidey. Maybe it's just me. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. But man, you might I thought I was Korg and I'm not. Because you know why? I'm clearly not shock immune.